Hello again and welcome back for another edition of London Direct. We're going to talk the German elections now. I've been speaking to Annie Tepeluch from Gecko Global Markets. We've got the uh, German elections over the weekend. Lots of people seem to think it's a bit of a foregone conclusion, but there must be, must be some risks around this weekend's election for investors and traders. Um, that's true. Well, the biggest, the biggest economy of Europe is um, having elections. Um, I think um, the, the result is pretty, pretty much um, already uh, there. Um, Angela Merkel is in a poll position and the only question I think that remains open is actually what kind of coalition she's going to lead. Um, since um, since uh, many, many years uh, there hasn't been a single government in Germany that has been um, guided by a single, single party. Therefore, um, the tasks that's ahead of her is actually to, to form a coalition that will um, that will provide calm to the markets, and this is this is a big expectations from the markets, from 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 the Europe as a whole. Um, they expect Germany to take on more leadership role, and Germany is kind of uh, reluctant to do that. Yeah, but th that is quite a big big thing, though, isn't it? Forming a coalition that's quite a big question mark because the FDP might not even get above that five percent mark. So where does that leave Angela Merkel in terms of trying to form a coalition? There's there's, there's lots of question marks still there. Um, there are, in a way, you, you're right, but at the same time, um, uh, Angela Merkel uh, has very strong personality and she, she's, she's aiming for a third, third term. So, given that, given how, how much liked she is in her country by, by her own people, um, she's got a very, very heavy weight behind her to, to, to form a proper coalition and, and to um, implement further her, her, her own policies. But is, is there an obvious coalition partner? Because it, it seems quite strange to me that there's there's the main other party uh, headed by Steinbrück. Do you think that she's going to have to go over there to try and form a coalition? Uh, this might be a, um, a scenario for her to do that. Although um, uh, SDP is not actually quite uh, quite willing to to do that, uh, so there might be there might be some problems as such. Um, maybe even a, a second election. But this is kind kind of unlikely from from my perspective. Um, the other thing that might pose certain risks uh, to the whole election thing is um, the new, newly emerged party alternative for, uh, for, for Germany, for Deutschland. Um, uh, they are kind of um, uh, there to voice the concerns of, uh, of, of, of skeptics. They, they say we are there for, uh, for the breakup, orderly breakup of the Eurozone. And uh, this might appeal to some people, uh, especially those who are not very, uh, very content with, with the current direction. Um, but I don't, think, I don't think they pose a very great risk, risk given the fact that they're very, very unknown faces with a little experience and they are only calling for a breakup of, of the Eurozone without offering much of alternative. Yeah, so if, if, but if there's no, if a coalition with Steinbrook's unlikely, then where does uh, Merkel look? We still don't know how it's going to, to be. It's a kind of hard to predict future. Uh, so it could be um, that the current coalition will uh, will go into into another um, into another term, uh, which would mean uh, no no basic changes in the in the policy. Uh, so they, they 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 will keep the course of action, uh, which means. Uh, small step-by-step -step, um, uh, actions uh, dealing on, on uh, dealing with the problems on a case-by-case -case basis, on a need-to-do basis, um, uh, and SDP um, potentially could be a coalition. Uh, Steinbrück said um, he's not actually willing, given the fact that in 2009 he actually um, uh, had some problems, so to say, and, and he's quite reluctant based on, on that experience. So, as I said, maybe another election, but quite un unlikely. Just to finish off, let's talk about the practical implications for traders. What's the trade off the German election? What happens to the DAX, the Euro and Bunds off the back of this election? Well, uh, given the fact that in, in, um, in the past years, in the past, uh, the, the past re results of the past elections uh, have, uh, have shown that um, as, as long as CDU is winning, uh, it's, it's good for the market. So that there will be positive reaction, I assume. <laughs> Well, thanks to Anita for her analysis of this weekend's election. Stay tuned for more interviews here on Duke's Copy TV. But for now, goodbye. <laughs>